a very good morning to all of you so i cordially welcome you all for this uh, engineering thermodynamics course so this is the self learning topic of the sixth one in the week 7 so it is the last self learning topic so the topic is about uh, the thermodynamic temperature scale and uh, why we have to study about this uh, thermodynamic temperature scale what is the motivation so it is essential while solving the numerical problems on heat engine refrigerator and heat pump operating on the irreversible processes and on the carnot cycle and what is the outcome of this particular the lecture so the student should be able to explain the applications of the thermodynamic temperature scale so now let us go to the absolute thermodynamic temperature scale because uh, whenever we are dealing with uh, the temperature measurements so we are having the various temperature measurement scales like celsius fahrenheit rankin kelvin and other new temperature scales also can be introduced so in that particular one the freezing point and boiling point temperatures are very very important one so the celsius has taken the freezing point is equal to freezing point of the water is equal to 0 degree centigrade and the boiling point of the water is taken as the 100 degree centigrade at atmospheric pressure conditions so what are the values i am quoting down so these are related to the atmospheric pressure conditions and similarly the foreign heat has taken the freezing point as 32 and freezing point as the 212 degree fahrenheit so whenever we are having the absolute thermodynamic temperature scale so we find out the efficiency of the irreversible heat engine is equal into 1 minus q2 by q1 that is the q1 minus q2 by q1 that is the formula for the heat engine which is operating on the irreversible cycle but for the reversible cycle always the efficiency is a function of t1 and t2 efficiency is a function of t1 and t2 so that's why the how can we write down the efficiency for a reversible heat engine so because for a irreversible heat engine the efficiency formula is q1 minus q2 by q1 or 1 minus q2 by q1 and for the heat engine which is operating on a carnot cycle or on the reversible cycle so the q is to be replaced by the temperature so the same thing we are able to write down here efficiency is equal into 1 minus t2 by t1 that is a t1 minus t2 by t1 so that is absolute temperature thermodynamic temperature scale so that is q1 by q2 is equal into t1 by t2 that is whenever you are having the two heat engines so work produced by the heat engine one is nothing but the difference of heat supplied and the heat rejected so q1 minus q2 and similarly the work produced by the heat engine two is nothing but q2 minus q3 and whenever these two heat engines are arranged in the series so whenever you are clubbed these two heat engines then automatically the initial temperature source is the q1 and the final temperature sink is the q3 so this heat engine is operating between directly between the t1 and t3 temperature limits so for this we are able to find out the work as q1 minus q3 only so now we are able to find out the q1 by q2 is equal into is a t1 by t2 so that is the efficiency of reversible heat engine so just now i told you that so that is based on the absolute thermodynamic temperature scales so this formula is applicable for irreversible cycle and now this particular formula is applicable for the reversible cycle or the carnot cycle so how we are able to uh, write down this particular equation is it is only based upon the absolute thermodynamic temperature scale that is the q is replaced by t so efficiency of a reversible carnot cycle is represented as 1 minus t2 by t1 similarly whenever we are finding out the cop of a refrigerator so we determined the cop in such a way that so it is a desired effect by work input so in case of a refrigerator the desired effect is the refrigeration effect so it is nothing but the q2 so q2 by w is nothing but the q1 minus q2 so it is for the actual cop of the refrigerator actual means it is operating on the irreversible cycle so if the refrigerator is operating on the carnot cycle if you want to predict what is the maximum possible cop we are going to obtain so for which so we can find out the cop of a carnot refrigerator as t2 by t1 minus t2 that is q2 is replaced by t2 q1 is replaced by t1 because q1 by t1 is equal to q2 by t2 
the similar lines we can predict the performance of a heat pump which is working on the carnot cycle so cop of a heat pump which is working on the irreversible cycle or the actual cycle it is the desired effect by the work input the desired effect is the heating effect so it is q1 by q1 minus q2 so for absolute thermodynamic temperature scale so we can write down the cop of the heat pump for a carnot cycle or for a reversible cycle so this can be t1 pi t1 minus t2 so this is a very very important one the absolute thermodynamic temperature scale will is giving us the relationship between the performance of uh, the irreversible process as well as the reversible process thank you one and all for attending and listening the important concept of thermodynamic temperature scale thank you